How fucking dare you? That's just disgusting. Oh, this one was nuts. So this needs some backstory. This needs some backstory, this one here. So the whole fucking reason this kid has this outburst... Okay, like, the backstory is the kid beat the fuck out of a kid that was uh, under his care because they wouldn't stop crying. So he had this outburst in the fucking courtroom because he thought that because he was a white kid, the fucking jury would fall for it. Very dramatic day in court as a young man learned his fate. He beat his girlfriend's little boy to death because he wouldn't stop crying. Brittany what a fucking piece of shit. Smallwood has more on today's sentencing for us. Hi, Brittany. They probably had to put him in protective custody because, like, yeah. You know. Teresa, it was intense at sentencing. The courtroom was packed with family and friends supporting the defendant, Dylan Shoemaker, and the victim's family. As soon as the case was called, Shoemaker walked into the courtroom and started crying, telling everyone how sorry he was. A North S. No, believe me, I'm, I'm fucking fully aware of how shady cops are. I'm not going to be any fucking bootlicker anytime soon. I'm not going to be a fucking bootlicker anytime soon. I, I fucking think that you have to take it with a grain of salt when dealing with an organization that hires people not really based on their ability to give a fuck that fucking terrible shit happens in the world, but your ability to retain loyalty to the overall goal of their organization more than anything else. But that's for another time. You know, some people want to just have a choice of what food to put on their table and what roof to put over their head and everything else. They're a emotional and amoral too. They don't care. But so long as the public looks at it, you know, the way they're supposed to look at it and you can maintain order that way, you know, some of them are just so brain dead. They can't even fucking understand. That's what they're in. This fucking copy just, like the, the, he did this completely as a fucking uh, ruse, though. This particular kid. Dylan Shoemaker walked into a state supreme courtroom, pleading his case, telling his victim's mother and the court he's remorseful for what he did. Shoemaker was sentenced Friday for beating 23-month-old. You can't be remorseful for just beating a little kid like that to death. How fucking. Austin uh. Smith last March, before the sentence was handed down, Shoemaker and his defense attorney fought for the minimum sentence, 15 years to life. I can't take back what was done. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. Well, looking like that in jail, you probably will. I loved him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a, that's a given. But there were other dynamics at work there, including my client's inability to either control his anger or frustration and his inexperience in babysitting. Based on his short life... You don't need to be experienced at fucking babysitting to know you shouldn't beat a toddler to death to get them to shut up. It's like throwing your toaster across the motherfucking room into a wall saying, Fuck you! Turn off! You know? Ugh. You know? It's stupid. What a fucking ridiculous argument. What a fucking ridiculous argument. <laughs> My client was inexperienced at babysitting. So he didn't know that you should not wrap up a, a fucking kid in a fucking... in a pillowcase and swing them over your head like a fucking mace. Shut up! <laughs> you know, Jesus. Now, what is to say he won't do this again? The judge makes a good point. I don't know that. I think it's completely unlikely. It was a situational circumstance. I think it's unlikely. What kind of fucking dipshit lawyer did you get? Oh my god. He can't say for certain he won't do it again. I think it's unlikely. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> no, my client's an innocent. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. You know? I mean, look. He, 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 he may have taken the plaintiff's baby and put them into an air pressure cannon and fired them into a brick wall because they wouldn't stop crying. But it's very unlikely that he would do it again. You know, look, my client had a DUI. That's a given. But it's very unlikely that he ever again would get absolutely shit-faced 
and then get into his 1968 Impala and just use those pesky sidewalk U-turn lanes and plow over six people. I mean, it's very unlikely. It's, it's, it's you know, not 100%, you know, uh, for sure, but it's very, very unlikely. What are you fucking talking about? In Judge M. William Bowler's last words to Shoemaker... Look at him, he's pissing the judge off with his bullshit fucking argument. Like, the fucking stenographer over there doesn't even know what to do. He told the now 17-year-old that in his short life, he's caused so much despair to so many people. Bowler said he listened intently to Shoemaker's testimony during trial and called him a manipulator who minimizes his actions. <laughs> Please tell me that Greg gets a judge like that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that he gets a judge like that. Your Honor, my client had no prior babysitting experience, so he proceeded to crush the baby's brain with the TV while laughing maniacally. He doesn't know any better. Give him a damn cookie, please. Yeah, right? Somebody says, better call Saul. You know? He should have said influenza. You know, he he's too rich to know the... What, what the fuck is... You know, I want to ask, you know, next time um, next time I'm able to, to talk with some of these people, I, I do want to ask um, pre-stream maybe, um, what is really the basis of the affluenza defense? How can you really be so rich you don't know the fucking difference between right and wrong? You know, I grew up from a really interesting background myself, as some of you might know. And I still know that you shouldn't beat a toddler so they stop fucking crying. Or whatever the fuck the affluenza kid fucking did to get off his shit. You know, how are you so rich that you finally lose the ability to delineate right and wrong? And how does that fucking argumentation work? Because the way I saw it when that case happened, I think it was a DUI that kid got. It was like they had some kind of leverage financially. You know, they had to... Like, if you put our kid in jail... If you hold him accountable for what we do, we're big investors in this town. And we will economically fuck your town into the dirt. Everything you have will go. We'll pull out whatever business is making the town bunny, and we'll fucking go move it somewhere else. Because you can go fuck yourselves if you put your kid in jail. Little Johnny, you know, he doesn't get to know what consequences are like. He's a good boy. You know, he ran over four of the valedictorians and shit. Doesn't fucking matter fucking pieces of shit it's like with the dupont chemical guy one of the people that had big i think the guy who owns it got caught like raping a, a three-year-old niece and they were going to put him away and they just let him go because he wouldn't fare well or learn anything in prison no you didn't put him in jail because he runs a fucking massively fucking wealthy chemical company that provides fucking products for different parts of our infrastructure to keep our country fucking going for like construction and shit. So you know that if he fucking went to jail, he'd probably cash out his fucking company and we'd lose out on a whole fucking industry, a bunch of industries that depend on the products that company makes. That, that's what that fucking shit really is. That's what that fucking shit really is. Oh, nobody's above the law. Yeah, well, unless they provide something your country fucking needs in order to survive. Or they make enough money to basically fuck you over inadvertently. So, yeah. Heather Snyder says, It was a DUI, and he drove into and killed a few other people who were just on the sidewalk, or I'm pretty sure were in a parked car, the affluenza kid. Yeah, see, that was my fucking trip about that story. It's just like... You do something like that, and it's like, oh, he's too rich to know the fucking consequences of his actions. That's so fucking blue. He's a very affluent person. No, it's mommy and daddy are too hooked up. And if mommy and daddy move whatever they're hooked up with to another town, that particular jurisdiction goes fucking tits up economically. Pressure was applied. God, John DuPont was nuts. Oh, I'm glad other people knew about that case. <laughs> that's probably what he fucking told his lawyer yeah well if these people put me down for good guess what i'm just gonna fold the company and they're gonna have to look for somebody else they're gonna have to go fucking get all their chemicals made by some other company oh guess what there isn't one <laughs> so what are you gonna do <laughs> Why, jesus fuck this is a wonderful world we live in ladies and gents 
the fucking wonderful dreamland of shit. ...show that you admitted on July, that on July 23rd, 2013, in a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a quote from the court reporter, I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury, and they're going to feel sorry for me. <laughs> uh, oops, motherfucker. Oops. Look at his face. He's like, you motherfucker. Look at his face like, you motherfucker. <laughs> there. Oops. Was sentenced to 25 years to life behind bars. Oh, geez, you're fucked. Shoemaker's defense attorney, Joseph Terranova, says he plans to immediately appeal the sentence. Both say the Your attorney is a fucking inefficient shit heel. You're, I would never have that guy as my defense. Fucking old fucking Mario there. What the fuck? What kind of stupid fucking... He didn't know any better. How dare you? Are you going to appeal this shit because you made yourself look like a fucking schmuck in front of an entire room of people? At the Boston, Austin Smith was not intentional. Reporting live in the newsroom... It doesn't matter. You still killed a little kid. You're still going to get a manslaughter fucking charge. Involuntary manslaughter. Doesn't that still carry like the same sentence? So if you go through the appellate court and get the fucking conviction... Uh, overturned. Well, even with double jeopardy, though. That's true. Because I don't know if that would factor in. Because at that point, it just becomes involuntary manslaughter. Teen screams during bond hearing. I'm having fun watching these. Tonight, the 19 year <laughs> Eric von Aknen. What a name. This guy sounds like he could have made fucking rocketry for the Germans back in the 40s. Eric von Aknen. Anken. Tonight, the 19 year old. Von Anken. Eric von Schnell. His teenage roommates is locked up in jail and a judge is not letting. Wait, what did he do? Tonight, the I was too busy fucking making fun of this guy's name like an asshole. 19 year old accused of murdering his teenage roommates is locked up in jail and a judge. What the fuck? Judge is not letting him out. When Damon Kemp was wheeled into the courtroom this morning for his bond hearing, he wheeled. started screaming, and the victim's families couldn't handle it. New 6's Jerry Askin is following the bizarre developments. Jerry, you haven't seen anything like this in a while. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, bizarre for sure, and I'll tell you his reaction. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? To his charges and to his bunch that is some say was pretty dramatic. <laughs> doing tonight Ugh. Damon Kemp is sitting behind bars in Volusia County Ooh. on no bond in court today we saw tears all the way around from friends and family why are you looking tough you're the one in a fucking wheelchair in handcuffs with like cops surrounding you that'll fucking put you down like a fucking old dog or something if you get out of that fucking thing how tough you really think you are dumb dumb you're the one going to prison to get a train run on you for 30 years. You're not going to feel very tough after that. There is no answer as to why or how. Narissa Carter had a front row seat today in court, grieving days after her 19-year-old son, Trey Ingram, was murdered. It got so <laughs> tough, at one point, she had to walk out. <laughs> and like any mother who's forced to grieve... I mean, this is fucked up that happened to her kid. I'm not going to lie. It hurts. Dads and moms need to hug their children. This is like... Get a phone call like we did, and you won't get a chance to hear their voice anymore. Meantime, back inside the courtroom, we watched as Damon Kemp was wheeled inside, screaming and calling on a higher power. <laughs> God! 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 This is me when I fucking have to try a to shit too hard. <laughs> this is me after I go to Chipotle and they didn't do it right. Screaming and calling on a higher power. God! 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 Actually, that's me watching the Green Bay Packers over the last five years. Just watching them lose. God! God! Can't you fucking pass? God! What the fuck happened to you, Rogers? <laughs> Let me guess, you're gonna go join the Vikings in the last part of your fucking season, you worthless piece of shit. You... <laughs> His facial expression... Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> me with my <laughs> me, 
me and my astigmatism trying to read the menu at a fucking fast food place from across the counter. And his mood seemed Ooh. off as a judge read his charges. You think it seemed off? I do believe <laughs> He looks like Pepe right there. He looks like Pepe right here. Feels good, man. Like, you can actually just do the comparison. Oh my god. Fucking Pepe. First fucking result is Pepe the Frog. Advanced uh, American uh, Anti-Defamation League. I can't fucking speak. There we go. There we go. There's our buddy. There's our buddy right there. Look at that shit. Let me resize this. Allow me to resize this, or is resizing racist? There you go. <laughs> That's the same fucking face. <laughs> All I'd have to do is flip it, but I can't. Because Firefox. <laughs> That's when he's trying to look tough, and he looks like fucking Pepe. <laughs> but there is probable cause for the arrest. He's gonna like lick it fucking fly out of the earth. <laughs> Kemp's family and friends in court today shed tears. All as Trey's family got pretty vocal, even having to be escorted out. Deputies say Kemp was arrested Thursday after he was tied to an uh -huh. armed home invasion. Mm -hmm. Then deputies say they learned he murdered Trey Ingram and Trey's friend Jordan Payton. Trey's family <sighs> say he was an up-and-coming boxer working to get back in school at BCU. He was helping the suspect get back on his feet by letting him stay with him rent-free. That's fucked up. Being the giver that Trey's mom said he's always been. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let Pepe fucking stay in my fucking house acting like a fucking lunatic like this because, you know, I mean, if the, if you couldn't tell that there's some fucking obvious problems going on here, I mean, dude, what the fuck? Oh, here's another one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Defendant, <laughs> defendant collapses in court after guilty verdict. <laughs> she basically she she just planks out <laughs> i've seen this before story one is charged in count one we further find true the allegations that diana jean lovejoy was vicariously armed with a firearm within the meaning of penal code section 12022 for an a for in one dated 11 13 17 signed four person Same title, same cause. Verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Diana Jean Lovejoy, guilty of the crime of a attempted murder of Greg Mulverhill in violation of Penal Code Section 664. She said penal. 187, for an A, for an 1, as charged on count 2. We further find true. Look at this just, just sinking into somebody. <laughs> Acted willfully, deliberately, and pre with premeditation within the meaning of Penal Code Section 189. We further find true the allegation that Diana Jean Lovejoy was vicariously armed with a firearm within the. So basically, she tried to kill her fucking husband. Of Penal Code Section 12022, for an A, for an 1, dated 11 13 17, signed four person. He's looking at her like, um. Uh, <laughs> even the judge is like, are you okay? <laughs> it's like the camera guy is the only person in the room who seems to notice that something's going on here. Versus Weldon K. McDavid, defendant. Case number SCN 363925-980-980. Verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Weldon K. McDavid, guilty of the crime <laughs> to commit murder.
<laughs> she just planked out. I guess she just fainted. Something. Did I just lay her on the floor? You dead? Because if not, uh, we're going to move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I could do that. I don't have it, like... <laughs> we, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Weldon K. McKenzie, guilty of... <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> oh, it's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. <laughs> And when she gets back up, you do the startup sound. <laughs> wow, that was an actual startup sound? I liked that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> she <laughs> Murder. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so fucked up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that somebody fucking when you touch your pockets and can't feel your phone. <laughs> Nobody put a Windows XP fucking sound? Oh, right. I like watching these. Any more crazy ones? And the North Las Vegas Police Department is owning up to an embarrassing mistake. Uh, yeah, the entire fucking incompetency of your fucking police department. I lived in Las Vegas, I ought to know. Uh, your racial profiling, uh, sexual assault, misconduct, all kinds of crazy fucking shit. Yeah, okay. You you got a lot to own up for. You you're you're a fucking jurisdiction that really needs a lot of reworking. Oh yeah, this guy. This guy's nuts. So on September 2nd, when was this? Uh September 2nd, 2016, they left a murder suspect unmonitored and he escaped. What's hilarious is that the reason he was able to escape is that he basically could use this bar that they handcuffed him to as a fulcrum and a lever on the table. And uh, he was able to basically just break the handcuff by using it like that. I won't say that he wasn't seen. He wasn't seen by us. <laughs> he wasn't seen by us supposedly monitoring the fucking uh, the camera. See, look at that. This actually, I'm not going to lie, that was actually a smart move to use it that way. I mean, the guy's a murder suspect. He probably killed somebody. We don't know. I don't know the, the details behind it. But it was smart for him to fucking... Boom, he popped that shit. Looked like it hurt, too. Mm. 
we we did have a video feed, a live feed, but nobody was monitoring. <laughs> My God. He then climbed into the ceiling and escaped the building we unnoticed. Are very, very aware that mistakes. <laughs> he just. <laughs> I wish uh, it hadn't happened, but it did. And now we take steps to uh, prevent it from happening again. We're not perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of surprisingly easy to get out of a fucking pair of handcuffs that way. The police are simply not perfect. But when he sits there for a minute, it does make it look like that hurt like hell. It's like, so like he basically just put it as a, as a, like a fulcrum between the bar and the handcuff and just popped it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that's kind of smart. It's like, so you didn't hear anybody shuffling around in the fucking ceiling? <laughs> hey, uh, what's that sound that sounds like somebody fucking running around in the air vent? <laughs> you know? This is a Half-Life air vent sound. Good morning. That's not it. They don't have it. Damn. Well, that sucks. <laughs> That's just hilarious. So nobody heard you running around in the air vent. Nobody heard shit. I'm trying to find another crazy one. Sovereign Citizen videos are fucking hilarious. Police officer fired after racist selfie uh, emerges. Bad choice by a new officer. Melissa Adamson, the former Pitcairn police officer who ignited a social media storm with this one picture, apologized to her former chief last night, admitting she was on duty when she took the selfie. To my knowledge. <laughs> Holy shit, it said I'm on, I'm the law now, and word yeah, may have been taken. Holy shit. Why would you say that? How do you feel about that? Well, we try to keep our racism internalized, so... I mean, we don't particularly like brown people. We hire them because we want to keep up and save face, but we don't really like them. That's why all the older white officers like us move to the suburbs and stuff, and, like, specifically only vote conservative and on really profiling policies and stuff. You know, don't, don't, don't think too hard on that or we'll have to arrest you. But... Well. I am actually a little saddened on that. That that's that we have more integrity than that within this department. Pit Karen Police Chief Scott <laughs> looking at this town, I don't know. Barelli told Channel Eleven today Adamson actually resigned last week before the Facebook firestorm to take a job as a McKeesport police officer. Within the <laughs> Why would you fucking do that? Hours, Adamson was fired from that job where she was still undergoing training, and Channel Eleven confirmed that last night. Adamson resigned from Versailles police where she had worked part time. I'm glad to know that you live in a town that's so defunded with their police. They're using like mid 90s fucking SUVs as their fucking police cars. Holy Fine. shit. For two months. During the nine months she was employed here as a part time police officer, were there any complaints from the community about her performance? I know I have never received a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the one time you take a selfie that says, I'm the law now, N-words. <laughs> like, holy fucking shit. What an idiot. What a fucking giga brain fucking take. Why the fuck would you do that?
All right, let's see. I want to like watch something else besides cop videos now. I like, want to watch people getting into stupid fights. Or actually, no, I got a better idea. Fake martial arts. <clears throat> These guys, oh, hang on, it's gonna replay the same video. It's got a glitch. Fake martial arts are like one of my favorite things in the world. They're fucking hilarious. It's just like these, it's like a world of just bullshit artists. Anna asks, do you watch Jim Can't Swim? I do. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> when you beat a guy through another guy. That needs the window shutdown noise. That needs this. <laughs> oh, it's got music. God damn it. All right, it's got music. Hang on. What the fuck is that? What is that little woo? Do 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 do. I don't know why. It makes me think of the Doug the theme song. <laughs> you know, like in a real fight, this guy would get his fucking ass kicked. Especially by a guy who looks like fucking Eddie Bravo here. Fucking... <laughs> This guy does Muay Thai. You can tell. The other guy, not the guy in the blue shirt, but the guy who had no shirt. <laughs> That's your own fault. Does this fucking stupid music end at some point? Triangle of death? What's the triangle of death? Oh, Guy Savelli! Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's like the king of the bullshit artists. <laughs> In the poison hand technique, you have to turn the person's head extremely over to the other side because the jugular vein is right behind this big muscle right here. Behind there is a carotid artery. <laughs> and here is the uh, airway. Now, there's the ABC approach of helping a person or hurting a person. They <laughs> need a clear airway, they need to be able to breathe, and they need to have circulation of blood through their body in order to live. <laughs> no shit. I, I put that in my book titled No Fucking Shit. In the poison hand technique, although I'm not showing you how to strike to penetrate the skin, which we have a way to do that. I'm going to show you motion. <laughs> this guy's flabby fucking. Just to get <laughs> through there. Now just watch a second. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the 
fuck even is that? He just like taps his head. What is that? What is that going to do? I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to wipe your back. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna do shit in real life I'm just like <laughs> i can't like if you just want to annoy someone that's a great way to do it this is what happens when you bring an animal style of kung fu to Russia, and it has vodka. Look what? Look at these stiff animal-like moves. He's like a combination of snake and mantis. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Now it, it's tiger, I assume. Vodka tiger. <laughs> vodka tiger. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Another demonstration of this move. What are you using? Your forearm? <laughs> There's a bunch of old people in this one. I'm going to be able to... All right. So stick All right, shut up. I don't give a fuck about this guy. <clears throat> this is my stream, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got I got the perfect music for this. I got the perfect shit for this. <laughs> it fits too well. Oh god, it fits this one perfect. Oh, go back. It almost looks like the video for it. this guy again <laughs> there's fucking master Kim Jong Il here who's this fucking guy He didn't even touch him. Watch. Look, he doesn't even touch him once. He doesn't even fucking parry him. He doesn't sweep his leg or anything. He's literally not even touched the guy once. So you can just come back and break somebody's wrist. Those poor fucking dudes. They look like they actually are. They actually look like they think they're learning something. Oh, there's this guy again. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? If your opponent is a box, this is what you need to win. Or if you want to break their shin. <laughs> This is a good way to, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I hate when people, do... oh, wait, is there commentary on this? I could... to be honest, so... I actually felt... Okay, fuck you. This fucking asshole is just going to do his commentary. This is my video, bitch. That's so easy to do. I hate when people do board breaks and stuff and they impress stupid people. Because let me tell you, I used to do this fucking shit too when I was younger. And uh, those boards are literally, if they're, 
not separated in the middle because some of them literally have like a fucking perforation in the middle that they break along and it's just a regular board you're hitting it with the grain so then it just fucking breaks because it's going to break along the grain of the wood the ones we used to break and impress people with it's like oh shit yay they're two little plastic things and you broke it well it's perforated in the middle to break like <clears throat> If I took both sides of it like this and just bent it, it would fucking separate, you know? I remember one time, one of my classmates, when I was doing my little karate shit, we had those two when I was like 13 years old. I think his name was Sean. Like, he was holding it, and I fucking punched the damn thing, and I accidentally fucking punched it too hard and just went right through and punched him in the fucking face. <laughs> I'm like, I am so sorry. Like, I went right through and just fucking, like, punched him, like, right in the face. <laughs> I'm like, oops. <laughs> the one I stayed with, ta uh, Taekwondo, that's pretty cool. The one I stayed with was Kempo, because it's basically just street boxing. So it actually has some utility. Breaking cinder blocks is, uh, well, it's a little easier than you think, because they're not really that strong. They're heavy, but they kind of just crumple apart if you put the weight together on them, right? Because what basically is happening is you're breaking them under their own weight. Ooh. Those are forms and shit that what that guy, last guy, was doing. That's more like a meditative thing. Sent Sean to the ER. No, I didn't send him to the ER. He was fine. I just hit him in the face on accident. He was okay. <laughs> but I didn't... What I didn't think was ha was going to happen was that they were just going to break like you punched through a piece of paper. Like, that's how fucking weak those things are. They don't have any resistance. So I figured that when I was going to hit... When they wanted me to break it, like, to break it, I'd actually have to use some force. So... I fucking threw a really hard punch at it and didn't know it was just going to break no matter how hard you hit it. So my fucking fist like sailed through and hit him in the face. <laughs> These people are completely out of sync. Like most of them. <laughs> who tried for her first time to actually knock me out using just the sound art bell martial arts instructor and the energy projection just listen energy to projection listening to the sound of his voice and how tired he is just from talking makes me want to just knock myself out <laughs> okay that was funny <laughs> come they ha <laughs> Hit him with a big bang attack. Boom. <laughs> that one needs the fucking window shut down. That one needs the windows. <laughs> That's the perfect one for it. <laughs> oh yeah. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, how many more are in here? Oh, he's go. Oh, he, <laughs> look how fucking tired he is. Trying to get back up. Oh. <laughs> Man. Uh, 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 oh, thank you. Thank you. I just had another heart attack. Sorry. <laughs> I try to pass a ham roast through my ventricle. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, okay. So this is on a channel where they, right. a channel where they find these videos and then hog them all to themselves and fucking do their commentary over the top. Oh wow! I'm gonna have to watch this later because not a lot of people talk about Ken Po Karate. There's Ken Po and Kem Po, which I did was Kem Po, which literally is just street boxing, which is really good. It was great for your calisthenics. It was great for your um, just basically an all around workout and shit. Um, <clears throat> but um, what I liked about it was that it was practical. You know, if somebody fucking basically pulled a knife out on you, it actually had good disarming uh, techniques. It had good pin techniques, arm bars, and all that kind of stuff. Instead of all this flashy fucking, fucking bullshit. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking do that shit. If somebody tries to attack me, I'm going to try to fucking either disarm them or try to fucking incapacitate them as quickly as possible. That's why people go and do fucking MMA shit, because it basically takes the best out of different fucking styles and throws all the bullshit out it's like oh but you don't understand it's like you know what fuck that okay i don't want to fucking sit there and be flashy if somebody's gonna fucking try to take my kidney what's this this looks 80s as fuck 70s why is this recommended to me Ave Maria. Okay, this is weird. Why is this recommended to me? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Whatever. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Boog. Ow! What the fuck? What the fuck would you put that video up for? What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie 298 coming out your live once again for the power. Do we really see his face getting fucked up like this? Oh, God. Oh, God, you do. Oh, God. Fuck that. Oh. 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 Sorry, I didn't want to see that. Oh. I just now have exposed you all to that. Oh. All right, in a minute I'm going to start working on one of my tracks. I'm running out of videos to fucking watch here. <laughs> What is this? Flagitious, flagitious idiosyncrasy in the dilapidation? What the fuck is your band's name mean? 
They're all chicks. festival is this? <laughs> Her screaming is not bad, though. This... Oh, shit! There's Pro Jared. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. What the fuck? Her screaming is pretty good, though, for real. What in the fuck is this? This is like the whitest metal fest I've ever seen, yet the band is just a bunch of Asian chicks. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy! <laughs> Hold on, this guy's the one who wins, right here in the corner. <laughs> Fucking chicks just got like their purses and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Meth Fest 2018 looked like it was a blast. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> There's a guy down in here in a pink guy suit. Look at the guy in the pit. <laughs> sound like a tin can yeah it's like a grind core thing you basically get the shittiest fucking snare that you can fucking find what does this band sound like in studio <laughs> this band is pretty brutal but holy shit what's up with all these weird attendees costumes <laughs> dude riding a dinosaur made my day it's a fucking... Why does a Guar play this fucking festival? They would fit in so well. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! That's the best thing I've ever seen! What the fuck? I need to go to this! This is stupid! Look at this fucking guy, the way he fucking comes in on the side! He's totally fucking playing it up, too. Oh <laughs> He, like, has to put the costume on. <laughs> what the fuck is this?
Look at his face. He's dead serious. He's got a GoPro. <laughs> What does this band sound like when they're not sounding like fucking shit? Like, what do they sound like? Okay. Not much better. Oh! Okay, to be honest, I actually like this. Dude, this is fucking insane. Holy shit. Like... I like it. This is fucking wild shit. I like it. This is fucking crazy that this chick has this voice. That's fucking insane. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. It's actually really good. <laughs> it sounds like shit on that concert, but it sounds fucking... Oh, Metal Injection did a fucking interview with them. In 2008? Jesus. I can't even hear this fucking interview. Eleven years ago, Jesus. I said eight years ago, a minute ago. <clears throat> they don't really do a whole lot of interviews, but they're from Japan. How do you say it in Japanese? Okay, I'm not going to watch this fucking bozo interview him. I can't even hear what they're saying. Watch people die inside, part one. <clears throat> A lightsaber. Interesting. If there's one Jedi left, it's not you. Affirmative. Oh! Why are we still here? Oh! Just to suffer every night. Huh? Hey, one fast one, New York State. Yes, Chef. Yes, madam. Totally flat, no flavor. Okay, thank you. Hey, get the veil on, please, yes? Let's go. Chef! Right. Don't whistle at me. I'm not your dog, yeah? You look more like a dog than I do. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> off, will you? Press speaker, fat Damn. 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 Ben Shapiro. <laughs> that sounds like it just exploded his head.
<laughs> so what happens is one kind of tip, see there? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the one where the black kid's watching the white people dance. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, here it is near the fucking end. They make you wait. There we go. <laughs> this kid, fucking kid's face is perfect. <laughs> He's like so confused. I like the fucking yeah, song I think though. We do. We do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> BBC News. Just bear in mind it is August. Uh, this does not look like a walk in the park. Dog owners and their pets in California have hit the waves in the second annual World Dog Surfing Championships. Here are the pictures. <laughs> the competitor's main challenge is to stay afloat on the board. This is in Pacifica near San Francisco. He's They're trying so hard to be also serious. Also prizes for the best dressed and tandem surfing dogs. The winner, of course, being crowned top dog. That's a shame. We've run out of pictures. It's not a reality. If you actually knew what the fuck you were doing when I come to you, you would not what have a photo shoot during when you're killing you about? Fuck. Cheers. Isn't this like, isn't this like a... What do we think of her? Oh, yeah, what? It's so difficult <laughs> to predict the future. 99.99% .99 of the predictions that human being had in history about the future all wrong including that one oh yeah <laughs> only you know the <laughs> 0.00% of the prediction are right they're right because by accident yeah but it's also true that 80% of statistics are false yeah so my meaning <laughs> is room. come on guys that was a joke <laughs> <laughs> Oops. oh poor doggo <laughs> oh, you poor little fuck. <laughs> it took me a minute to realize what happened.